Well, hello, this is Berger here, and talking about the League Star for 3.22. So this is the, uh, <laughs> I think a minor did I that I had last league at 3.21. And let's just see the changes uh, with the updated POB uh, for this build. So it did 20, about 22 mil damage, um, and had about 100k EHP, and the budget was pretty decent, it wasn't too much. Yeah. Anyway, let's, uh, <coughs> let's convert the 3.22. I don't see any changes. Do you see any changes? Yeah, well, I don't see. <laughs> uh, so with that, I would assume they'll be playing the same build again for next league 3.22. Um, there is no change in anything that this build relied upon, I guess. You do have to watch out for two things. Uh, heat shiver drop rates. Um, if they made heat shiver, heat shiver even rarer, then maybe it will be a problem. I don't think they they would. Um, the second is March the Legion. I would think that they made March the Legion rarer because it's actually a very strong unique. So we'll have to see. Anyway, if uh, nothing else changes with drop rates, you are pretty much going to have the same level of progression, the same power, and the same, uh, you know, everything basically. Uh, you might want to experiment a bit with Spellblade and White Wind. So when you're leveling, you can do like, you know, White Wind, one-hander, and no offhand, and then just do Spell uh, Spellblade and one of your links for Icicle Mine. <laughs> you could also do Return Projectiles uh, if you path to Pierce, I think. You path to Pierce here. You get these, like... You know, these four points you get plus three PS, and then you can run that with icicle mines with the uh, uh, return uh, gem link support link. But other than that, I'm pretty sure that nothing is much, nothing, nothing's going to change with the build. This is going to be the same. Um, what will be my focus this leak? I think you should do find and trial at the ancestors. So that's that's definitely you're going to definitely do the leak content. Uh, I think this is strong for uh, Sanctum as well, so I'll be doing a lot of Sanctum, I guess. And I think Sanctum will be a good source of uh, currency because a lot of the Sanctum uniques from this year are going to be in demand. Mm, what else? Probably when I start, it will, there'll be a heavy focus on Heist. Not because you know Heist is interesting, but generally Heist is a pretty decent, uh, consistent generator of currency without you know, without having to like kill yourself pushing the maps, right? So if you're the kind of player that takes thing, things pretty slowly on the first day, you're not gonna like rush the maps in like four hours and you're not like some insane racer, you know, you can play like just the average PoE player basically. And once you hit like X5 or F, uh, no, sorry, X6, you just go to heist and then just build up a bit of currency to get the upgrades you need. So you don't feel like shit while you're pushing all the way to maps. Anyway, that's generally my game plan. Um, that's that's pretty much it. All right, I see you. Bye. Uh, I'm out.